Hello everyone and welcome back. We have got some more videos for you guys to watch and to listen to me talk over. So, let's go and get started, shall we? And we got some goats out in the field. Oh, we're being spooked. What scared you? Ah, it's Denny. Probably saw a snake or something. He's definitely on the prowl. Spooked all the goats right out of there. So what are you after, dog? Oh, she looks so young. Probably a year old in this video. Just about, well, teenagers, yeah. Not quite adults and not babies anymore. She's after something. She is definitely the hunter of the group. Uh, little Z sticks with the goats. Big Z surrounds the perimeter and Zinny hunts. He says, where is this whatever I'm after? So she's really good about snakes and anything, any kind of threat. She has brought me a few different animals over the years, so definitely successful a lot of the time. You know, as long as they stay clear of the dogs and stay clear of the goats, then they're safe. But if you run into the dogs or get too close to the goats, then all bets are off. And that is why Zinni is on patrol. Oh, a turkey video. Boy, we raised turkeys for quite a few years here. And at one point, we had a massive flock. <laughs> you could see them all getting all riled up and showing off their strut. Boy, aren't they pretty, though. They're so much fun. And ours were really well behaved, you know. We didn't really have any mean ones. And we, we had raised a lot of them. That way we'd have higher survival rate. And I do have to say, we, we did slaughter and eat some, and they were delicious. And they were raised very nicely and well, and had real good lives. And we kept a few towards the end, and uh, eventually we just had one pair. Old Frank and his girl. And then we had Frank until he passed from a natural death. So, they were good turkeys. Very good turkeys. Oh, I got a birth video for you this week, so fair warning if you're not into watching birth. Uh, this is definitely a birthing video. So this is Hot Spot. She is so cute. A little smaller than I like my Nigerian dwarves, but very well put together. And this looks like her first kidding. Like a young doe. Well, we have a nice sunny day at least. Can't complain there. Got good pushes there. Push. Push. So that's active pushing. If there is not progress when you see that uh, pretty quickly, then you might have an issue. As you can see, we're working our way out. Oh, it's such a tight fit. So one foot is forward, and you can see the nose. And I think that's the other foot right behind, and that's a normal presentation. Oh, bless her heart. So you can see she's got both feet and the head. Almost there. Oh, so tough. This is a... It's a tough job to do, but it's better to let them naturally stretch and naturally slowly birth and try to, you know, manipulate or assist unless there's no progress being made. But you can see here she's making good progress and we're going to have baby come out. Ugh. Poor thing. My goodness. So if you happen to see like the eye kind of bulging out, that's actually something that does naturally happen sometimes. It's really gross and weird, yeah. So if you thought that, you're all right. It's gross and weird. But it's totally normal and it doesn't hurt anything. And you can see baby is out. And breathe in and mama said, what the heck just happened? I don't have a clue. Everybody's coming to look. You can tell right away she's got another one coming. She's already starting to push. You can see the bubble protruding. She's working on that while also inspecting what she's done. So I can see that the baby is breathing clearly. That's why I'm not over there messing around with it. No point in messing around if you don't have to. Especially with first time mothers. You may want to give them a moment to kind of go, Oh, wait. I did this. Naturally breaking the cord. 
And we can see the little baby sitting up. Oh, pretty little baby. Already making sucky face, as I call it. Making nursing motions. The hot spot's gonna turn around and go, What the heck? I don't remember eating that. Bless her heart. She did good. She started cleaning her baby up. And talking to it. And it's a very pretty little baby. I think it was a boy. And... <laughs> As she was cleaning the first, I remember the second one just splurted out. So you like to see an easy birth like that. I totally missed it on camera, of course. But there's her two little boys, her first babies. On a nice day, out in the sun. I let her clean them up for a bit before I probably gave her a hand. And I probably took them and got them tucked away in the barn, nice and comfortable. And he's already starting to stand. He says, I'm ready. Ready for milk. <laughs> We're a little drier now. Oh, such pretty babies. This is exactly what you want to see. They're getting up. They're making nursing motions. They're vigorous. Uh, it is normal sometimes for them to sleep a little bit after being born. But usually pretty quick you want to see them hunting for that udder. And that was the second one born. And he's just like, wait, I'm not ready quite yet. <laughs> Oh, beautiful Evie. Oh, she's a baby. Uh, I must have thought this was noteworthy enough to video. Little baby Evie on the stand. And we got some more does, mostly manchies. Oh, look at that booger. That's so nasty. They got some alfalfa meal in their bowls. That's what all that green dust on their faces. She's so tiny. Look at her. She's like, I want a fair share. I can do this. They learn pretty young how to use the stand, and then it's not a big deal when it's time to be milked. Oh, hot toddy. She's so pretty. So she's the black and brown doe in the middle. And that's Mudslide, the other black and tan. And rubbing on her behind her is Mustard, who just left, or is leaving. And is that Marshmallow? I think that's Marshmallow. A young Marshmallow. Just loving on her. That was quick. My goodness. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's videos. And we will see you next week. Have a great day.